Okay, hola, my name is Francisco. Today what we're gonna do is basically a roasted tomato salsa. We're gonna call it Salsa Diablo. And it's Salsa Diablo because uh, my brother Jose, my, my mentor, he's pretty much the reason why I do this, okay? And he has a salsa at his restaurant, he calls it Salsa Diablo. Really simple, four ingredients. You got some salt, a little garlic clove, four tomatoes, and what makes it a Diablo salsa is these little babies right here, the, the habanero peppers, very, very hot. Four tomatoes, two peppers, and that's gonna be enough to give it a lot of heat. Okay, you got your hot skillet, no oil, nothing on it, just dry. If you don't have one of these, you can always use your, um, your uh, broiler in your oven. Just make sure you, you turn the tomatoes and that's gotta be on high, okay? This is already hot. It's very hot. These the tomatoes are just, they're shaking of how hot it is. Basically, you just let them sit there, three minutes, you turn them, three more minutes, you turn them. Eventually, all of it will be roasted in a, a dark brown color, and that's what we want. Recently, I uh, came to find out that uh, cooked tomatoes are actually more nutritious than uh, raw tomatoes. Uh, the um, antioxidants in them get a boost when you cook them. We're not getting any any uh, dark spots yet on these. Let me see. So that's gonna be what you're gonna be uh, going for. And you can start turning them, and they will get soft in about 10 minutes. You see these uh, little dark spots right there? That's what you want, but you want them all over your tomatoes. So you wanna you wanna come in and turn it just every every so often. But this is this is very hot, so it, it won't take long. You, you'll be turning them at probably every every minute or two. Roma tomatoes would be a great op option to this, and, and and the flavor in Roma tomatoes for this kind of salt is a lot better. I didn't have any at hand, so just for the sake of it, we'll be using these. Yeah, it's, they're looking really good, and they you can feel it. You know, a little softer and some, some juice is starting to come out of them. All right, and right now we're just looking for spots that need that chard on them and just turn them as needed. We probably got uh, our, our 10 minutes in them, so we're just gonna let them go another another two minutes. These looks like they're ready. Put them on this plate and um, take them to our table. And next, we're gonna turn this down a little bit because we're gonna, we're gonna put the peppers on those. Let's see, just probably right there, a little medium heat on that, we don't need too much, and uh, we don't want the stem, so check that out. Now, the, the, the juice on this is hot, so if, I mean, if, if you're sensitive to this stuff, just wear gloves. And these, put them on there. They won't take as long as the pepper. They're, they're, they actually, these, I'm gonna puncture them, because uh, it gets so hot inside, they pop, yeah, just let some of that steam out through that hole. You start getting the darkness right away on the little roasting, let's see right there. Now these peppers, you can get um, a dry version of them now that I had not seen till recently sold uh, commercially. All right, I'm just gonna turn this off. Oh, okay, we're ready to put this thing together. Now this little piece of equipment right here is, uh, is our ancestor's uh, blender. Uh, mortar and pestle made out of lava rock. We're not gonna be using it today. You gotta love technology and the, the new stuff that's out here. So, get peppers in there. Salt, that's a couple of teaspoons. Garlic. And tomatoes. Four ingredients. Very flavorful. Uh, let's see, make sure this is low. Yeah, you gotta start really low. You don't want, uh, puree this thing. You want some chunkiness? Now just give it a little more speed. There we go. Start smelling it. Oh. There you go. Nice. There, just a little more speed. Try not to breathe. I'm serious, this stuff is, this stuff is, and it's just the smell. The flavor is gonna be great. Okay, there we go. I got that thing ready. Ooh. All right. I think that's the uh, texture and that we're looking for, yeah.
Now we are going to use this, the a little uh, mortar and pestle or molcajete, as we know it. It's just for, uh, you know, nostalgic uh, effect. There you go. All right, we got our salsa ready and our vessels that are gonna bring the salsa to our to our mouth. Obviously, chips, the number one option. Let's see. Mm. Nice heat, not too much. At home, this is the way to do it. I'm gonna give one of these to the cameraman. I'm gonna have one for me just a little bit. I think he likes hot stuff, so I'm just oh, yeah. there you go, man. And enjoy. Thank you. Mmm.